Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Rita McGuire. I am the Chief Medical Officer for Wakana, and I want to uh, bring to you some exciting information on thyroid conditions tonight and how CBD can be used in those who have thyroid conditions. The intentions of our Wednesday night webinars are really to bring uh, information to our guests who may be on the line, who may have some of these conditions that we discuss uh, each and every Wednesday, and really understand the science behind how CBD can be used in so many various conditions. So when we look at the thyroid gland, this is a gland that is a small butterfly shaped gland and it's found in front of the neck. It's below the larynx, which is the voice box and it has two lobes, one on each side of the windpipe. It's an endocrine gland and it's made up of special cells that makes hormones. So you can see the gland here has a pyramidal lobe, it has a right and left lobe, and in the middle it has something called the isthmus of the thyroid gland. Now the gland creates two very important thyroid hormones, one being triidylthyronine, which is T3, and thyroxine, which is T4. Now these hormones are very important in regulating metabolism or the way the body uses energy. Now the production of these thyroid hormones is regulated by TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone. This hormone is produced in the pituitary gland in the brain and it ensures that enough thyroid hormones are made to really meet the needs of our body. So let's talk about two thyroid conditions, one being hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism is a condition where the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormones to meet the needs of the body. The thyroid is considered underactive in hypothyroidism. The reverse, which is hyperthyroidism, is the opposite condition where the thyroid produces too much thyroid hormone. Therefore, the thyroid is considered to be overactive. So the thyroid hormones affect multiple organ systems. They therefore impact the following functions, functions dealing with brain development, breathing, heart and nervous system functions, our body temperature, even the strength in our, in our muscles, as well as skin dryness, our menstrual cycles, weight and cholesterol. So let's look at hypothyroidism. Well, about 4.6% of the U.S. population aged 12 years and above has hypothyroidism. Again, that is an underactive condition where the thyroid gland does not produce enough thyroid hormones to meet the needs of the body. Hypothyroidism typically develops slowly Symptoms may go unnoticed for an extended period of time and may vary greatly between individuals. You need a blood test to obtain a concrete diagnosis of hypothyroidism. So let's look at how hypothyroidism affects the body. Well, it can cause hair loss. It can cause fatigue. It can cause a change in mood and memory even depression. It can cause our heart rate to slow down. Unfortunately, it can cause weight gain, right? So a lot of women that come to my office that just cannot get their weight off, they blame it always on their thyroid gland. It can cause menstrual changes. It can cause heavy bleeding or very little bleeding during our, our menstrual cycle. It always gives a person a feeling cold. You can have a goiter, which is an enlargement of the thyroid. It can cause high cholesterol, constipation, dry skin and hair, and brittle nails. It can also cause sore muscle and joints. 
So when we look at some of the other symptoms of hypothyroidism that can affect one's body is balance and coordination issues, recurrent urinary and respiratory tract infections, loss of libido, and even anemia. Children may also experience uh, poor growth or delayed development of teeth, poor mental development, and even delayed puberty in hypothyroidism. Well, let's look at some of the symptoms of hyperthyroidism. Again, hyperthyroidism occurs when the thyroid gland makes too much T3 or triidylthyronine and too much T4 or thyroxine. This is a condition that's also caused the thyroid to be overactive. A variety of conditions can cause hyperthyroidism, but Graves' disease is the most common condition that causes hyperthyroidism. Excessive iodine, uh, inflammation of the thyroid, even tumors of the ovaries and testes can cause hyperthyroidism. Benign tumors of the thyroid or even the pituitary gland, remember that's a gland that produces TSH, can cause hyperthyroidism. Large amounts of tetraidothyronine uh, taken through supplements or medications can also cause hyperthyroidism. Some of the symptoms that include fatigue, weight gain, sensitivity to cold, depression, memory problems, goiter, hair loss, muscle pain, erectile dysfunction, and infertility. Some other symptoms of hyperthyroidism that you may experience are irregular heartbeat or rapid heart rate, something called arrhythmias, even itching, nausea and vomiting, and breast development is seen in some men with hyperthyroidism. Nervousness and even restlessness, inability to concentrate in, in addition to the characteristic bulging of the eyes are all symptoms of hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism can cause atrial fibrillation, which is a dangerous arrhythmia that can lead to strokes as well as congestive heart failure. So let's look at some of the traditional treatments that we use for thyroid conditions. While there may not be a cure for thyroid conditions, there are some effective treatments out there. Well, let's look at hypothyroidism. Well, one of the main concerns in hypothyroidism is to really replace those thyroid hormones that are deficient. So we typically prescribe Synthroid or a synthetic thyroxine, which replenishes the T4 hormone levels. Iodine is an essential mineral for thyroid function. So Iodine deficiency is one of the most common causes of abnormal enlargement of the thyroid gland or goiter. So maintaining adequate iodine intake is very important for those who are hypothyroidism or hypothyroid. Now hyperthyroidism is uh, included with antithyroid medications such as Tapazole. That's one of the more common medications that we use in those who have an overactive thyroid. Even radioactive iodine is also given to over 70% of adults in the U.S. with hyperthyroidism. This is another effective way to destroy hormone-producing cells. So it's important that you see your doctor for testing to properly diagnose a thyroid condition. The thyroid panel that your doctor may, you, may uh, draw is typically a TSH level or thyroid stimulating hormone. And this is to test for hypo or hyperthyroidism and to also monitor your treatments for thyroid disease. Another blood test, which is included, is called a free T4 or a free thyroxine. This is the test for hypo and hyperthyroidism. The last blood test that's typically included in a thyroid panel is a free T3 
or a total T3. And this is to test for hyperthyroidism and to also use this to monitor your treatment. So now let's move on to a discussion on cannabis. So cannabis has two species. One species is the hemp species. Now this is part of the plant that contains 20% or more of CBD or cannabidiol and less than 0.3% of THC. The other species that the cannabis plant produces is marijuana. And many of you have heard of marijuana. And that's a species that contains very little CBD or cannabidiol, typically less than 10%, and contains more than 20% of THC or delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol. So when we look at the plant, we look at the other cannabinoids that the plant makes. We know that CBD is the hero, right? CBD has many, many medicinal properties. CBD is an antibacterial, it inhibits cancer cell growth, it's a neuroprotective, it promotes bone growth, it reduces seizures and convulsions, as we see in the little girl in uh, 2013 that made CBD headlines. Her name is Charlotte Fiji, and Charlotte Fiji has something called Dravet syndrome. It's a syndrome where children have between 300 to 500 seizures a week. And her parents tried everything. They were very near to having have their little girl have surgery. But they introduced CBD, and when they introduced CBD or cannabidiol, this little girl with Dravet syndrome went from having 300 seizures a week to three. So CBD is very, very powerful when it, when it is um, used for seizures and convulsions. CBD also reduces blood sugar levels. It reduces the function of the immune system. So those with autoimmune diseases, be it um, autoimmune diseases that attack the thyroid. It can be lupus or fibromyalgia. CBD also reduces inflammation. It reduces arterial blockage as well as it reduces small intestinal contractions. CBD reduces nausea and vomiting. Very important in those who have symptoms of hypo and hyperthyroidism as well. It relieves pain. It reduces anxiety. It also reduces the bacterial growth. CBD is also very, very powerful in addressing psoriasis, skin disorders like psoriasis and eczema and even acne. CBD is a vasorelaxant. Well, let's look at the other cannabinoid that we know, which is Delta 9 THC or tetrahydrocannabinol. It reduces vomiting and nausea, it reduces pain, it stimulates appetite and suppresses the muscles in those who have multiple sclerosis. But we see again, the long list of medicinal properties CBD has. We look at other cannabinoids like CBG and CBN and CBC. They all synergistically come together and have a powerful effect on the body when used in specific conditions. So when we look at CBD, we understand that CBD is considered a non-psychoactive cannabinoid. And what that means is that CBD will not give you a high. Unlike THC or Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, this is considered the psychoactive cannabinoid. It is responsible for the high when consumed. When we use THC and CBD together, we understand synergistically that it truly has a more powerful effect on a cellular level when used together. Again, CBD can negate the high of THC. So when we use it together, those will uh, negate that high of the THC when those who use it for recreational use get into an issue with that creeper's high. But just know that CBD or cannabidiol is the non-psychoactive part of the plant 
that yes, can come from the hemp species as well as CBD can come from the marijuana species. Tonight, we are talking about CBD coming from the hemp species. Now, when we look at how CBD and the other cannabinoid that the plant makes, like THC and CBN and CBC and CBG, it's really important to understand that these cannabinoids work in our body by the endocannabinoid system. This is a system that every single person in the world has. This system plays a major role in regulating the physiological processes in our body. It regulates and modulates appetite regulation, digestion and metabolism. And we talked about how the thyroid gland is a major, major player in our metabolism. It also modulates and regulates the cardiovascular function, inflammation and pain. We talked about how the thyroid conditions, be it hypo, specifically hyperthyroidism, can cause heart arrhythmias. The endocannabinoid system also plays a major role in the immune function, in the energy balance and thermogenesis. Again, the thyroid gland plays a major role in energy balance. It also has an important role in modulating and regulating our memory, neural development and learning, even synaptic plasticity in movement, regulation of stress, regulating our mood, and even regulating our sleep-weight cycles. So when you remember how the thyroid gland plays a role in all of these systems that we see here on the slide, we can see how CBD can help those with thyroid disease. So the endocannabinoid system is made up of cannabinoid receptors that bind these receptors bind to cannabinoids like CBD and THC to put our body into balance. Some of the known receptors are CB1 and CB2 receptors. They're looking for CBD, they're looking for THC, they're looking for CBN and CBC and CBG. They're looking for all of these cannabinoids to help the body to be back in balance and to have a characteristic effect on the body. There are also receptors in every single organ and gland in our body, from our head to our feet, in our brain, our heart, our skin, our liver, our lungs, our thyroid, our pancreas, our reproductive organs, our skeletal muscles, our spleen, and even our bones have receptors in the endocannabinoid system that are looking for CBD, that are looking for these cannabinoids to put our body into balance. So let's move on to our next very important part of our presentation, specifically CBD and how CBD really works in thyroid disorders. So there's an estimate that about 20 million people in the United States have some kind of thyroid disease. So if you're on the line, you may have a thyroid disorder, or you may even know someone who have a, has a thyroid disorder that you can share this information with. According to the American Thyroid Association, women are about five to eight times more likely than men to have a thyroid issue. Again, doctors like myself, we often prescribe pharmaceutical medications to people with thyroid disorders. And we talked about some of those medications. Very common medication for hypothyroidism is Synthroid, and a very common medication for hyperthyroidism is Tapazol and even surgeries. So when pharmaceuticals don't work, people might choose alternative medications and therapies like CBD. In fact, current studies show that CBD could potentially benefit those with thyroid-related disorders, including hypothyroidism and Graves' disease, which is one of the most common causes 
of hyperthyroidism. So again, we see the thyroid gland. It's an organ. It's an endocrine organ. It's a very important endocrine organ that plays a role in our metabolism, which can directly affect your mood. It can affect your weight. It can affect your mental status and even your physical energy level. And remember, we talked about how the endocannabinoid system, how the endocannabinoid system um, is very important in modulating and regulating the mood, the weight, the mental and physical energy, which the thyroid gland regulates. Another important function of the thyroid gland is to help convert food into energy. So this role helps to maintain a proper functionality in the body. So you can see when the thyroid gland is underactive or it's overactive, how our body can be out of balance. So what is the role of the endocannabinoid system in thyroid disorders? Well, we know that scientists has discovered that CB1 and CB2 are major, major players when it comes to the receptor sites and modulating central and peripheral functions. Specifically, we look at CB1 receptors are found in the pituitary gland, which is the gland that produces TSH. Again, these studies show that even the energy balance and regulating the endocrine regulation, CB1, can help those with thyroid disorders. Another study that we look at, this study was published in 2002 in the European Journal of Endocrinology, and they tested delta-9 THC cannabinoid in the rat thyroid gland. And the results show that 30% decrease in serum levels in both T3 and T4. There was another study in 2015 at the University of Athens. And what they showed and evaluated was, again, those CB1 and CB2 receptors and how they potentially can be used not only in benign thyroid lesions, but malignant thyroid conditions. This study showed that the CB2 receptors can also be a useful biomarker as well as a potential therapeutic regimen for those who have thyroid cancer. And again, here is the study here. Their conclusion, as you see, is CB1 receptors are able to modulate and regulate the release of T3 and T4 in those rats that had thyroid cancer and benign thyroid disease. Another study here again shows how CB1 and CB2 in the endocannabinoid system can help modulate and regulate those with benign and malignant thyroid lesions. So the studies and the science is there. The studies and the science show that there are very many um, positive results when one takes in cannabinoids like CBD, like THC, and the other cannabinoids the plant makes. And how does it do it? It does it by the endocannabinoid system and the regulation and the modulation of receptor sites CB1, CB2, and regulating and modulating the receptor sites in the thyroid gland and in the pituitary gland where thyroid hormones are produced. So overall, CBD may even improve symptoms of thyroid disease. We talked about many symptoms from dry skin to inflammation, to anxiousness, to pain and depression. Science shows that CBD and other cannabinoids can possess a therapeutic properties to improve symptoms. Again, these are scientific studies. There's many, many anecdotal evidence. 
that suggests a very strong potential that CBD can be very, very useful when we talk about symptoms of hypo as well as symptoms of hyperthyroidism. So as we move on, we're gonna move on to uh, some of the products here at Wakana. I wanna talk about a little bit about our company. Our company was launched on April 20th of 2019 and Wakana was brought into existence through the synergistic efforts and shared foundational values of four African-American women who believe that health, wealth, legacy, and freedom are gifts that belong to all people. Here are our four co-founders. Uh, Melissa Boston is our CEO. Dr. Patricia Van Pelt is our president. Phyllis Nash is our senior VP of sales. And myself, Dr. Rita McGuire, I am the chief medical officer. So as we get into our products line, it's important that you know that the FDA has not approved any of these statements. If you are on medication, if you're nursing, if you're pregnant, please consult your physician before starting CBD. So our products are products you can trust. In 2018, President Trump signed uh, the 2018 U.S. Farm Bill. And the 2018 U.S. Farm Bill descheduled hemp. It took hemp, which was a controlled substance for 80 plus years, to now a legal substance that is federal, legally, federally on in all 50 states, legal to be sold, consumed, and grown. So the 2018 U.S. Farm Bill allows us now to use CBD that is extracted from the hemp plant. And remember, the definition of industrial hemp contains no more than 0.3% or less of THC. So our products are products you can trust. We provide some of the most rich medicinal hemp that is fully compliant with the State Department of Agriculture regulations. It's important to know that hemp is a bioaccumulator. And what that means is when you grow hemp, it needs to be grown organically in organic grown soil as hemp can accumulate anything that is in the soil. By being compliant with the State Department of Agriculture regulations, that means that the state that our hemp is grown in, farms in Oregon, Colorado, and Kentucky, those regulations have been met that that hemp is grown organically. Our products are also industrial hemp registered, which is very, very important, as well as our products are farm bill compliant. A portion of our hemp is U.S. grown, again, in farms in Oregon, Kentucky, and Colorado, in accordance with Section 7606 of the 2018 U.S. Farm Bill. We also use global farms in Northern Europe as well. So this is our product line. Very, very proud that our products are double certified and third party validated. Our third party validation is gone, is through an ISO lab that ensures that our products are free from mold, mildew, heavy metals, any toxins, and the products contain the legal limit of THC, which is 0.3%. Also, in a full spectrum product, as you see in our power line on the left hand side, full spectrum means not only do they contain the cannabinoid profile, but also terpenes. Terpenes are a very important part of the plant that also allows for medicinal benefits as well on the body. Our pure line, which is our power, our pure line on the right side is our broad spectrum products. Those are products that contain less than, point, less than 0.0% .0 of THC. This is a line that's a great line for those who have random drug screens at their place of work that really need that assurance that they will pass the urine drug screen. So we have products that include uh, tinctures, water solubles, 
culinary products that you can bake and cook with, as well as topical products, vape oil cartridges, and gummies. And we'll go through all of these products. Our power relief product is a great product because topical products are used for that local relief that you may have if you have thyroid conditions. Again, we talked about some of the symptoms that thyroid conditions can give. And one of the symptoms is sore muscles and joints. So this is a great product that contains 0.3% or less of THC. It also contains USDA certified essential oils that address inflammation and pain. This is a 500 milligram um, concentration in a 60 ml bottle. That's our power relief 500 milligrams. We'll move on to our Power Hemp MD. This is a great, great product that a lot of physicians and pharmacists use. It is our most potent product. It is a tincture, which means it's an oil that you place underneath the tongue. You hold that for a minute so that the sublingual glands can absorb and this product can get into the bloodstream within 15 to 20 minutes. It's a full spectrum product. Again, it contains the cannabinoid profile as well as terpenes. It also has three USDA certified organic essential oils that enhance the anti-inflammatory properties that CBD also possesses. Those essential oils include flaxseed, B-L-A-C-K, black seed, turmeric, and peppermint. Black seed is known not only for its antibacterial properties, but it also has been shown in studies to rebuild the beta cells of the pancreas. Black seed helps digestion, normalizing blood sugar, as well as blood cholesterol. Turmeric is another essential oil that we use in our CBD line. We enhance our oils because we know turmeric is another powerful anti-inflammatory essential oil. It addresses memory and heart health. And then peppermint we use for a very nice taste that is added to our CBD line. This product is recommended to be used three drops twice a day. And that's a daily support. That may be for someone who has a thyroid issue or any other issue that you're using to address uh, inflammation or pain, as well as a health support. That is eight drops twice a day. That health support will give you 40 milligrams of CBD on a daily dose, as well as maximum support. That's for someone who needs that maximum support, may be addressing some severe conditions. That's 15 drops twice a day. It's really important when you introduce CBD, you introduce it slowly and you introduce the lowest amount initially until the body becomes accustomed. So I always recommend to my patients to start low and to start slow. So three drops twice a day is a great way to start low and start slow. Our Power Extreme Relief, this is a very, very potent product. It's a topical product that contains the legal limit of THC, which is 0.3% or less. It also includes a proprietary blend of powerful and organic essential oils. Those oils include black seed, turmeric, arnica, peppermint, eucalyptus, clove, cinnamon, and menthol crystals. A very powerful product that you only need a little bit when you are addressing some of the symptoms that one may have that has thyroid issues as well. Our next product, we're going to stop sharing um, the slides because I always like to come live here. Um, let's see here. Let's make the screen full here. 
And in order to see me, I have to put the video on. Wonderful. So hopefully you can see me here and we'll make the gallery large. Great. So I'm here in my office here and we're going to go over some of our other products. Um, we talked about our power product. We have a power that's 500 milligrams, which is not as potent as a 700 milligram hemp MD, but again, a great product that you can start low, you can start slow, three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening. Again, our power by Hempranium 500 milligrams has a proprietary blend of peppermint, turmeric, and black seed that really enhances the anti-inflammatory properties of CBD. We have a water soluble product, which is a really great product that you can use in your water, your beverages, your food, your smoothies, your coffee, your tea. Again, a great way uh, to get CBD into the system, 500 milligrams in a 15 ml bottle. Starting low and starting slow is always a great way to start and introduce CBD. Three drops in the morning, three drops in the evening. And what I always recommend is after four days, if you don't see uh, improvement in symptoms, you can always double that dose until you hit something what we call is a sweet spot. That's a spot where you have resolution of symptoms that you're targeting. A very popular product is our Culinary Plus. We're gonna be using this a lot. Thanksgiving is coming. Thanksgiving, people are baking pies, making cookies. This is a great way to get CBD into the bloodstream, but using it with your culinary expertise in the kitchen. Again, baking uh, your dressing, uh, infusing your turkey, another great product to use when you're cooking and baking. We also have our cartridge, our vape oil cartridge. Our vape oil cartridge, again, contains organic full spectrum CBD. It is in a carrier oil of MCT coconut oil. You can also use our vape oil cartridges with a battery that gets no higher than 350 megahertz um, of heat. It's important to understand that the issues with the vape cartridges that we hear on the news, those vape oil cartridges have been sampled by the FDA. And what the FDA found were that those vape oil cartridges contained a lot of toxic material. One toxic material they found in those vape oil cartridges was vitamin K. Vitamin K, when it's heated, is very toxic to the lung. They found K2 synthetic. They found fentanyl. They found rat poison. They found nicotine. They found cannabis. All of these vape oil cartridges that resulted in 13 deaths and numerous, numerous lung issues were black market vape oil cartridges. What I love about Wakana's cartridges is that our vape cartridges are sealed. You can't open them. You can't tamper with them. And there is no toxic chemicals in our vape oil cartridges. Very safe. The potency is there. The onset of action once you vape is within a minute. So when you're talking about acute issues that are, may arise, vaping's onset of action within a minute is the way to go to address those issues. We also have our Power Mango Body Cream. Our body cream, again, can address those who have hypo or hyperthyroidism, that have the dry skin, that will address putting moisture back in the skin. There are receptors on our skin, can you imagine that, that are looking for cannabinoids like CBD. So a great product to address symptoms of thyroid disorders. We also have our CBD lube. We talked about how hypo and hyperthyroidism can cause a decrease in libido. It can cause erectile dysfunction. Our CBD lube can address those issues. This is a lube that has 400 milligrams of CBD, can be used on the outside of the vagina, it can be used on the penis, 
why, again, we have CBD receptors in the reproductive glands, in the testes, the ovaries, the uterus. This will help with vaginal dryness. This will help improve um, the bedroom experience. It has a cherry bliss flavor, which means it's edible, it's water-based, it can be used with condoms as well. Now, some of our favorite, favorite products are our gummies. Our gummies come in our broad spectrum uh, formulation, which means it contains less than 0.0% THC. And our gummies also come in our power formulation, which are full spectrum product that contains less than 0.3% of THC. Our gummies are vegan, they're non-GMO, and our gummies are infused. That's really important to understand that infused gummies versus coated gummies are more potent. They're actually able to get in the bloodstream a lot efficiently, a lot more efficiently when they're infused. Gummies typically take about 45 to 90 minutes to be metabolized and get into the bloodstream. So it's important to only eat one gummy. Each gummy is 25 milligrams. You don't need to eat the whole pack of four. That would give you 100 milligrams of CBD, which is really not needed. One gummy is enough. Love using gummies when? I personally love using gummies 45 to 90 minutes before I know I'm going to go to sleep. We talked about how hypo and hyperthyroidism can cause uh, issue with insomnia. So you can see now how all of these products can be used in those who have thyroid issues. We talked about the many, many symptoms that those who have thyroid issues can have and how they can be addressed. Again, we can't make any claims, we can't make any diagnosis, but what we did do, I hope I was successful in sharing with you the scientific data on thyroid, the CB1 and CB2 receptors within the endocannabinoid system and how every organ and gland, particularly not only the thyroid, but the pituitary gland that's very instrumental in producing TH TSH, one of the thyroid hormones that is regulating T3 and T4. Hopefully you can see uh, the science behind how cannabinoids, specifically CBD and THC, has been instrumental in helping those with thyroid disease. So we're going to, at this time, we're going to open the line and I'm going to go to um, Sean Stevenson. I've unmuted her line. We're going to have a testimony from Sean as it relates to hyperthyroidism and CBD. Sean, are you out there? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Great. First of all, Dr. Rita, thank you for having me on to give a testimony in reference to me having Gray's disease. Again, my name is Sean Stevenson. I was, I was diagnosed with Gray's disease 10 years ago. My symptoms included tremors, mood changes, including depression, weight loss, severe itching, rapid heartbeats, palpitations, and not able to rest or sleep at night. Uh, I started taking um, the CBD um, starting around the middle of May. And I was actually able to see an improvement in my sleep. That means that I could sleep through the night, my emotions are under control. Uh, I used to have outbursts of crying and feeling sad. Um, that's very less, um, less fatigue. I, I have more good days than bad, but I'm still under the care of my doctor who's an endocrinologist 
And we're just um, making sure that I go in the right direction with this. Thank you so much. Can you just share with us specifically what products that you've used since May? I actually used the Hecranium. Um, I actually use six drops in the morning and six drops in the evening. Mm -hmm. And of course, of course, I also, if I'm baking anything, I also include that in my drinks or I can actually use in my water. But more so, I'm using the drops and, and placing them under my tongue. Okay, so you're using the Hempranium 500 milligrams. You're using yes. six drops in the morning. You're using six drops in the evening. And for the listeners who may be new on the line, each drop is 1.67 milligrams. So um, we're talking about on a daily dose, you're about 48 milligrams of CBD that you're using. Did I do the math right? Let's see. Yes. Well, when I first started, um, when I first started, I don't know how to use math. So 1.67 times 12 is 20 milligrams, excuse me, of CBD on a daily dose. I'm yes. sorry, Sean, what were you saying? I actually started off slow. I was using three drops in the morning and three drops in the evening, but it I didn't I did not see for me. I didn't see an improvement, so I start increasing. And when I went to the six drops, that's when I uh, was able to see the uh, in, the change in my body. Well, thank you so much for sharing your testimony with us. Again, the FDA does not approve, approve any of these statements. If you're uh, on medication, if you're under a doctor's care for hypo or hyperthyroidism or for any conditions, please consult your physician. And I'm really excited that, you know, Sean is working uh, with her endocrinologist. You know, she talks about she has better days than not, and that some of these symptoms has been addressed by her using six drops in the morning and six drops in the evening. Specifically, you know, her sleeping. Um, that's like a big deal because that's when our body heals. So if we don't sleep, if we don't get that restorative sleep, that rapid eye movement sleep, then our conditions uh, can't improve. So truly excited to hear your, your, your continued success uh, with using our products. And thanks again, Sean, for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Wonderful. So I'm going to take some questions. I want to make sure that uh, some of your questions are answered. But what we do want to make sure that you contact the person that invited you on this call, okay? That's really important because whoever invited you on this call really, really loves you and they really want to get these products um, in your hands sooner than later. So let's see what's on the chat. If you have a question, you can absolutely put it in the chat portion uh, on your computer or your phone. Let's see where we're starting here. This is Carol Snyder. Again, I've had both. Had to have two doses of radiation iodine, thyroid diagnosed before sarcoid, and also have congestive heart failure. I was given three years to live in 1985, just four years after sarcoid was diagnosed. And again, in 2000, they said if I didn't have a lung and heart transplant, my life expectancy was three years. This has been an unbelievable journey, but God has kept me. Though I still have many challenges, now God and CBD together gives me much hope. 
Question from Carol is because of the two doses of radiation iodine, can CBD still help my thyroid? Again, we can't make any claims, Carol, but what we can say is that those symptoms that thyroid disorder typically can bring on, absolutely CBD can address those symptoms. We know that the endocannabinoid system has receptors, CB1 and CB2, which has receptors in the thyroid gland, in the pituitary gland, in the brain, in the hypothalamus that helps modulate and regulate hormone production. So if you're on this line and absolutely you have a thyroid disorder, you want to make sure that you give your physician this information that you can give your physician those articles that I shared um, earlier, those um, articles on uh, energy balance, on addressing benign and malignant thyroid conditions, as well as potential therapeutic options uh, for symptoms that thyroid disorders do produce. Uh, this recording I'll put on Wakana for Life Facebook page so you can share it with your physician. Will we at any time in the future add black seed and CBD oil combo? Well, right now in our Campranium 750 and 500 milligram products, there is black seed and turmeric and peppermint already in that bottle. Let's see. Great questions. Are any of the water soluble or tincture products safe to be used in a hookah? No, I would not use them in a hookah. I would use our water soluble products in beverages, uh, water, tea, coffee, your smoothies. Um, I like putting it in my oatmeal, um, but not in a hookah. My name is Nason. How does CBD help with blood sugar? Well, CBD studies have shown that CBD is an anti-diabetic. It helps to decrease inflammation in the beta cells of the pancreas. The beta cells of the pancreas are the cells that produce insulin. So when you have insulin um, sensitivity or resistance, excuse me, insulin resistance, that resistance is coming from the inflammation that the pancreas has. You take a product like CBD that has anti-inflammatory properties and you start to address and decrease inflammation to help normalize blood sugar. Again, we can't stress enough, diet, 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 diet. You can't, um, you can't expect CBD to be a miracle, right? You have to work with CBD. You have to make sure that your diet is free from inflammatory foods. You have to make sure your diet is free from processed foods, fried foods. That's why a plant-based diet is the best diet for thyroid conditions, for any chronic autoimmune conditions, for any conditions that you experience inflammation, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, gout. What products help with pain? All of the products help with pain. It just... It depends on which method of ingestion you prefer to use. Some people prefer to use our tincture. You place it under the tongue. Some people prefer our water soluble. You'll put it in your food and beverages. Some people prefer to bake with their product. Some people prefer our gummies. Some people prefer our topicals. Some people prefer our vape cartridges. It depends on you and your method of ingestion, which will make you more compliant, will be the best product for you. So they all help with pain, why? Because CBD is an anti-inflammatory and CBD is an analgesic. It's been used for 5,000 years for pain. So it just depends on which method of ingestion that you wanna use the product. If I use 12 drops a day of the 500 ml, can I use the power gummies at night if I'm experiencing insomnia? Absolutely, yes. I love using a combination of our products. That means I love using the tincture in the morning, 
Sometimes I'll use a water soluble in the morning, mid afternoon. If there's something that's stressing me out, I'll use my vape, one or two puffs. And then at night, absolutely love using the gummy. So yes, you can use the combination uh, of the synergy of all the products to help with your symptoms you're addressing. Please talk about migraine headaches. Migraine headaches, again, are a result of inflammation, uh, as well as um, there are vascular migraines, there are cluster migraines. CBD addresses migraines because CBD not only is an anti-inflammatory, but it is an analgesic. It is a great option uh, to use instead of using Imitrex. It's a great option to use instead of having to use Motrin or Aleve or et cetera. Again, please consult with your physician if you're under a physician's care, if you're on medication, if you are nursing or pregnant. We have brochures, we have a website, we even have uh, this recording that I'm going to share on Wakana for Life Facebook page that you can share with your physician. But more importantly, it's important to um, contact the person that invited you on the call because what you want to do is that you want to make sure that you're able to get your products. We have something called a personal use dispensary, which is a great uh, way to start using our products for personal use. Uh, this dispensary is $299 and it's valued at $500. We're giving you a combination of our Power Tincture, our Power Culinary Plus, our Water Soluble. We have our Topical, uh, two of the uh, Power Vapes, as well as two four-pack gummies. Again, this is a great, great way to start your personal use and we also have a larger package. That's our full crown jewel dispensary where you're getting a $2,000 value for $9.98. This is a great way to start using products for personal use. And also you can use this uh, full crown dispensary to sell or to even share with your family and friends. So I wanna thank you for tuning in tonight. Again, you want to contact the person that invited you on the call. You want to get any additional questions answered. Uh, you can email me for any additional questions at drritamack at yahoo.com. That's D-R, then my first name, R-I-T-A, M as in Mary, A as in Apple, C as in Cat, at yahoo.com. Whoever invited you on the call has my contact information as well. And we'll see you next Wednesday evening. We will have uh, a pre-Thanksgiving webinar. Uh, we're going to really talk about how you can use these products as you're cooking and baking for your Thanksgiving celebration. Thank you again, and we'll see you next Wednesday evening.